Come here. If you work with clients to create video content for them, or you need to get video from clients to edit for them, or if you need to send video to other people because you've just been traveling and you want to exchange footage, you might find this quite useful. Sony has this platform called C Media Cloud. I've been using it the past little while, and we've partnered together today to make this video to showcase for content creators like you and I how this could be useful in your workflow to speed it up and just generally make things a bit easier. You need to get video from someone, and maybe they're not the most technologically savvy person, or you just wanna collab with someone else that you've just done some traveling with or something. So you can create a folder. So I could go, I don't know, uh, Sydney video from Yosemite, that's where we just were. And I can double click on that folder, and then I can right click and I can go new file request. Click on that. And then essentially here I can write in the details. So um, Sydney's video, you can upload it here. Uh, and then Sydney, please put your video from Yosemite in, in here. And I want it to go in the folder that I just created, but you could pick any other folder as well if you wanted to. You could make them have to provide their email, but you also don't need to. Uh, allow folder uploads, but basically, it's as simple as that. You then have a link that you can send them however you want, or you can put in their email address as well. So if we were to just copy that, so this is what they will see once they click on that link. Now I've set this to expire on April 12th, but you can make it a year from now or not expire, entirely up to you. A few options to upload here, super easy. Select from this device, they can sign into Sony um, C Spaces if they have it, or you can just drag and drop files here. So I'll show you really how easy this is. So let's just drag in this here. And then you can see it appears, click upload, and it's gonna upload that file for me. Let it do its thing, and it's finished uploading. Now close that, and now if we refresh this page, you can see that video has just appeared there just like magic. It's really that easy to get those files. And this is really handy if you're dealing with someone, maybe a client that needs to send you a file to go in a piece of work you're making for them, or you're dealing with someone that really isn't the most technologically savvy person out there. You saw how easy it was to do. It appears where I want it to appear. Now I'm ready to download that and work on it. Similarly, if you need to send someone else video, you can create what's called a media box. Now media boxes are a way for you to share video with others and have complete control over what they can do with that. So let's show you an example of what I mean. So we can create a media box here and we're going to call it media box for Sydney. Not gonna add any notes. And you can either have a secure media box or a public one with anyone with a link access can access it. You can make it protected by a password or only members who you list can access it. So make it nice and secure. You can set your expiration on there as well if you wanted to, so that link will just stop working. And then you can punch in your email addresses for anyone there if you wanted to. And then you can do other things on here as well. So you can allow people to make comments, they can download the source files, they can download the previews, which we'll get into in a bit, that's pretty interesting. You can also get it to tell you when they have clicked on that link and accessed it or made any edits to it. From here, I can click on content. And if I click on add content, it shows me my whole Sony C Media space and I can basically go through all my folder structures and add in whatever I want to add in. So let's add in, I don't know, that one clip right there, add item. I can create a media box, but you can see there it says at least one person must be designated. So I haven't actually specified anyone who can have this media box. So we're just going to punch in my email address right there and create media box. And now it shows you everything right there that we specified and I can just copy that link or I can send it to someone directly. That media box now appears in there and you can see everything about that media box. When it expires, it's currently open and you can go in and either edit, make some changes in there. If you want to change the expiration date, maybe extend it a little bit you have a bunch of options in there. So it's just a really easy way to have better control over when you're sending video to someone. This can be really useful if you're dealing with sensitive video, maybe for a product launch of something that hasn't come out yet. You wanna make sure that it's really secure and only people who are meant to be able to access that media box can actually access it. If you like what you see so far, you wanna give this a go, I can actually give you three months for free and that's on the pro plan. If you use the code on the screen right here, that'll get you those three months for free and that's only for the first 200 people. So if we just go to my main workspace here and we go to this folder here, cause I know there's some Sony video in there. So this is an FX3 file. You can see there I can scrub through it. I quite like that you can do that. Now on the right here, you can see I've clicked on it. I've got all the metadata from that clip. So I've got the res I shot at, the frame rate, the codec that I used, the bit rate, the colored space, the color depth. 
So that could be really useful if you're working with others and you need to make sure that you're using the same settings. If we click on this file, which is a video that I've already edited, exported for my wife. It was a real estate video we shot for her. It still has metadata in here and it still shows me everything. This is what I exported from Final Cut. So no matter if you're using a Sony camera or an exported video file, you still get metadata in there that you can see. Again, we can skim through it there, really nice. Double click on that. On the right here, it's created proxies for me completely automatically. As soon as you upload to C Media Cloud, it does those proxies for you. All these proxies, you can download them immediately and start working on them if you wanted to export them to your phone because obviously you don't need a high res version for your phone. You could then edit it immediately and send it out to social media. You can also do something like create a clip. So let's say I wanted to clip a very specific section just for social media. You drag your in and out points and then you just click that, save clip. You can add handles to the beginning and the end so you have a little bit of a buffer either side. Generate an MP4, social media 1080p file, 720. Next, create the video clip, save clip. Your clip is now being generated. Once complete, it will be shown under the clip section. So you can create custom clips from anything you've uploaded. Now, if you work with clients, you'll know all about revisions. You send a video to them, you think it's lovely and brilliant and complete, and obviously there's a lot of revisions that need to be done. You can do all that within Sony C Media Cloud. Now you can either send them a media box filled with files, or you can just work on an individual file, depending on what you need it to do. You can right click on this file, which we're gonna do here. We're gonna pretend to be my wife as she gives me feedback into the video we made for her. So right click over the file, launch app, video review. So up here, we've got a goal. You can type in if a goal if you wanted to, whether it's a draft, active or complete, a due date, and you can invite work session members. So those will be people that are able to go on, view this, and then make any requests for edits. For the purposes of this, we'll just leave it like this. Very simple here, you can just play, we could pause, and we could add up here, don't like this shot, please go tighter. And it timestamps that request, that change from the client. So you can just click on it, it'll take you back there. So if we go back to somewhere else in the video and then click back there, it takes us back there. But you can do even more. Let's go to right here, drone shot. Click on the rectangle, we can draw a rectangle around it. We can draw something there if we wanted to. And we could literally say, uh, this res resident has requested privacy. Hit enter. And we could like click back to the other time stamped thing they want corrected and then click back to this one and it shows us right there with the comment, the changes that was requested. You can also export as XML, but you could also go all files to PDF and then you can click on download. And what that will do is it will create a document in PDF that has the screen grabs with the change requests, all the information, who timestamped it, when they timestamped it, project at the top. So that could be really useful for you, depending on the client that you're working with. Something that's really nice about this is that it performs like a piece of software that you have on your computer, but it's all web-based. So if I right click in here, it gives me actions. If I right click over a folder, it gives me actions. I can download this entire folder there if I wanted to. I can share this as a media box. I can copy a link. I can copy that folder to a different space within my Sony C Media Cloud. I could right click over this clip and go share, copy to space, copy this to a different workspace if I'm working within different multiple workspaces. A couple of ways to upload things, you can right click and then do it that way, or you can just drag and drop. So I wanna upload this right here, so I'm just gonna drag that and it will start uploading. So if you wanna try this out, make sure to click on the link down below in the description box and use the code on the screen right here to get three months for free of the pro account. That's only for the first 200 people. So make sure you do that if you think you wanna do it, because it's probably gonna go quite quick. That is the end of the video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.